Right, hello everybody, welcome to the first round of the playoffs. Incredibly, my opponent did not buy a 12th man. Um, he's got 11 man high elves. This is very risky strategy, I think, although they're, they're a very TV efficient, they're a good team. You know, he's got three rerolls, he's got loads of dodge, 10 dodge players, about eight blodgers or rogers. He's got a guard, he's got some movement, he's got some strength. Like, it's a good team, but it's also. It's also unexciting. He doesn't have any like crazy stat freaks. He doesn't have the edge five. He doesn't have a leap. He doesn't have strip or anything. Not that strip yeah. would be any good. But he's got nothing. He's got no like weapons. Um, and speaking of weapons, <laughs> it's oh, roll the dwarf. A <laughs> There's a fucking <laughs> pylon <laughs> death roller <laughs> and a load of other stuff. So um, I'm going to try hard this, as it were. Um, so we've got Flicky Flack and Skuro to do the commentary. I'm not going to listen to any of it. I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to take off my headphones and try my hardest. So uh, I'll hand you over to those two and stay fantastic. Good luck, Jim. Good. Have a good one. Good. Cheers. Good luck, Jim. And good afternoon, everyone here for Jimmy Fantastic versus someone. <laughs> Slan Ash. Oh boy, Jimmy taking on the god of sexual desire. Hope he had himself a pre show wank to get ready for this one, folks. <laughs> it should be a wild matchup. The <laughs> Roller Dwarves haven't been played in about a calendar month, but they're coming out for a big one tonight against Slanesh's High Elves. You can see I did a lot of research for this one. Yeah, yes, the High Elves you know and love, or you'd like to know, excuse me. Anyway, Flicky Flack in the booth with me tonight, the most exciting man in the JFW and the voice of the JFW, Gorilla Mezzo. We're calling this one. You've got the A-plus crew. You're going to get the A-plus dwarf roller team. We are homers here. We are not rooting for Slanesh in this one unless, you know, he sends us all those, like, five boobed demon claw ladies because uh, then maybe we'll uh, change our minds and root against Jim. But, yes, we are here for round one CCL action. Flicky Flack, how you doing this afternoon? I am going to try and bounce back from a Blood Bowl match of my own. Forget about that and think about this. I'm doing good. <laughs> I don't think we would call what you just witnessed and experienced a Blood Bowl match, but that's neither here nor there. We are loading into Cabal Vision. Looks like the Elves are going on defense to start things. They certainly are. That would appear that Jim has won the toss and wants to kick the shit out of some Elves, do you think? <laughs> Uh, I would think so, yeah. That would that would probably be my my expectation there too. But you never know. Sometimes elves like to like to do this, and uh, especially if he's a more conservative kind of guy, and he doesn't like uh, you know doesn't like to try and you know quick score. I yeah, can see it. Yeah, more chance at the one turn, doesn't it? More chance of having plenty of players on the pitch to help with the one turn. So yeah, I can I can see it. Hello, has Jim got enough stand firm? <laughs> Yeah, J5, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Flicky is more capable than just a yep here or there. So I'll have to take a breath every now and then and let him get a word in edgewise. But come on, we all know what you guys are paying to hear. And that is your two-time SFL champion, Gorilla Mezzo, the former, former, wait, no, that's Skurmetso. Skurmetso is a great dude, too. The former co-host of the Skirometsos High Intensity Tournament, also known as shit. But we're talking Blood Bowl today, so we got to go with the Blood Bowl accomplishments. Flicky, I don't know what you've done, but I know I've won the greatest league on the planet twice, and I could talk about that for the next hour and a half of this match, but I won't because Jim will probably ban me. So, uh, yeah, let's go down here. I think we're just about done with our setups. No, we're not anywhere near done with our setups. <laughs> we're still setting up on defense, apparently. So we are once get all of his pieces <laughs> in exactly the right squares. All right, Flicky, I'm going to hand it to you to take over and give you your two minutes of glory while I refill my water. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, right, so pretty standard dwarf team, obviously with the addition of the rostered roller. Uh, a very nice plus move um, runner over here with 
um, block, leader, kick off return, and kick. Interesting fifth skill choice. He's got a rookie runner, which I'm sure he'll want to level up this game to... What would he go for? Dirty player, maybe, with more elves incoming for the match. And then everything else that you'd expect from a dwarf team. A load of guard, a load of mighty blow, and a sprinkling of stand firm. Uh, having a look at the high elves... Um, an enormous amount of bludge, of course, which is largely counteracted by the mass tackle, so it's going to be tough. A couple of tackle of his own, which is Ed TV, um, with no dodge on the dwarf side. Um, we've got a nice uh, sidestep catcher, a rackle. So it's really... It's not built versus dwarves in particular is it there's no, there's one guard and no mighty blow to help try and even up the numbers absolutely um, not and there will not be a one turn unless he can get one of those three stand firmers not even going to count the uh not going to count the death roller because uh, jim does not have a bribe but he's got to get one of those three stand firm off the pitch if he wants to have hope at a one turn and when you're starting on defense as elves you certainly want that available to you Jim yeah. just loading up that front line like a true dwarf shitter, and uh, this could uh, this could go pretty nicely for him against the one guard on the other side of the pitch. Absolutely zero, you know, fear of the perfect defense against the bash team. You can't do that in case they get the perfect defense. That's a that could be a short kick. kick. Yeah, it could be if short this, kick. Let's see what the kickoff result is. This is a blitz. This is troublesome. Oh, Jim's loving it. No. Four rerolls. For the turn this is going to be rough for the elves real rough for the elves unless the dice have a say in it yeah jim will be perfectly fine with that scatter he can step one rank up front get a double screen and if he can he'll try and free up his guard on the end of the other way and the dominoes are already starting to fall lucius aurelius commodus a famous roman emperor is now at, down and out maybe a general i forget down and out off the pitch. The the frenzy didn't even have to expose himself there. No, down to ten. Down to ten for the match. It is his only unskilled player, but it's still another elf gone. Now just deciding if he wants to go with uh, roller first. Now he's going with the blitz first. It does drag someone away from the protection. Oh dear. Double skull. Yeah, the double skull. Double skulls pulling him off there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nero out, oh, fiddling, fiddling his Rome burns, and he's out too. Niggled. Apo comes out, and he's back in. But uh, he's gone for the drive. Any hope there the was Apple. of a solid defense is now gone. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I I'm not sure on that blitz from Jim. I wanted that player over by the ball, just a bit of extra support. Yeah, it's a bit interesting here. I mean, you know, a one and nine could make Jim's life really miserable, but uh, he's got, Good. I mean, he's just got such an advantage here. So I think those two guards maybe step up one square each. Absolutely. I split them. Although he has got a guard himself, so he can still hit the stand firm. I like those. Yeah. I like those two guards on the right stepping up because if he does one and nine the pickup, it's not going to yeah. roll through them. It's not going to scatter yeah. through them and in front, which would be a disaster for Jim. That's how the elves win, isn't it? This absolutely, this yeah. And Jim, Jim through. knows it too. He's doing it right now. Again, if you're wondering, not that Jim would ever want our advice, but he's so. Oh, and there's a little bit scary there, but he certainly has his headphones off right now and is definitely not listening to us. Now this is um. This is a little interesting, though. Where's this ball going to get safe from uh, elves rolling a bunch of dice here? Uh, I can Blitzer. Yeah. That's good. That should be good. He has to get through all that tackle. Pylon from the big fella. It's just yeah, a bunch of threes and twos, though. Bad. He couldn't resist. Threes and twos, and he's got himself an easy 2D here. Easy, easy 2D. You know, a 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus from the guard. 
and then the yeah. same from the other guy, and he's got and he's got the hit on the ball. I mean, why wouldn't you take that? You know, like you're not yeah. getting a better chance. This is yeah, his, probably his only chance to drop that ball. Because otherwise, that ball's just going to be in a great big giant bunker, isn't it? After this turn. Uh, excellent point in chat by J5. Jim is not a two-time winner of SFL like me, so maybe he would want to leech some advice from me. Also, hello, Unseen Walker. Glorious stuff. Yep, Roller Dwarves in action. This is the first round of the CCL playoffs, Taco Cat. Are we keeping a tracker of how many times I say uh, that I'm the uh, two-time SFL winner? Yeah, yeah I'm on. Right, fair enough. Well, that's three. My bet's on five. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna <laughs> eclipse five. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, it was a very conservative effort, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I would have set the over under at seven point five. Oh, no, no, there ain't no three times winners old. until a few weeks from now when I do it a third time and complete the hat trick. Yeah, we'll see. I know. <laughs> will obviously have no say in that whatsoever, but somebody might be able to stop you. And now back to the game here. Elves uh, on their first round of defense here. They are looking to – I think they're just going to spin right around. I mean, again, this is his only shot at the ball, in my personal opinion, is yeah. to go for it right now. Not a blodger, so he doesn't need the tackle that he doesn't have anywhere on the pitch. Oh, no. He's yeah. got one tackler. He's got one tackler. He has. He's slightly wrong-sided. He might be able to get around. They are fast. No, he's not bringing the guard in. Uh, he doesn't need it if he blitzes with this uh, this strength four. Oh, yeah. Back guy, the back part of the eye cage, HTK there, does not yeah. have guard. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier. If this was edge five, it would be... Yep. <laughs> he fails the oh. very first roll. He's got it. I mean, yeah. you're committed here. You got to go for it. And he's got it. He's got it. But there's not really a good scatter here. Gets the pow. Ball going down. Doesn't follow smartly. And that no, ball's only in one tackle zone. There's a catcher over there. There's a there's a blitzer over there. Gaius, Marius, Julius Caesar could cross the Rubicon and get the ball, folks. No pop dodge. A rolls used. He's got to go the long way now. He's just yeah, getting him into the yeah. area. And then this blitzer can try. Still double GFI to get there, though, unless he dodges oh, through this the tackle zones. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of elves around this. He's got to move. He's got to move one more square with this movement guy, or he's gonna block his own path. There it is. I think he's going to pass back. If he can get that ball in hand, he's probably going to try and pass back. Certainly not going to be the most secure, but does he get it? He Oh, he can't. He muffs the pickup. Jim's got some life and a glorious scatter for Jim. Nice. Guy. Does any of these have sidestep on the ball? Yes. One of them, there's yep. a strength four and a sidestep. So it's not over yet, but Jim's got enough guard and enough tackle to drop back in here. Certainly. Hello, Satterfield. Welcome aboard. And uh, J Can Style, thank you for uh, subbing Jim. I'm sure he'll check in afterwards. Dorf, dorf, dorf. I'm thinking bring those two guards in on the right and block away the strength once these assists are cancelled. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going to spray for the blitz. Yeah, but Jim's also got to keep in mind. He's got to keep a mind, too, for when he does free that ball up and retrieve it, how does he protect uh -oh. it again? That's where the elves shine. Oh, this could be going in the wrong uh -oh. direction. No, goes right back. Who needs a low? That's not, that's not bad. Mm. It's not bad. It's not great, though. Yeah. He really needs that, uh, that sidestep down on this next block. He can't... Oh, He's going to hit that yeah. strength four first. I, I think. think he should have done that first anyway. I think that would have been my... I'm not sure why. It's just what I feel like I would have done. Oh, and that was a blitzer, so no tackle yeah. there. 
Strength four still on his feet. Oh, that's a thrower. I didn't even realize that was a strength oh, yeah. four or strength four yeah. thrower. Good spot. Okay, here we go. Oh, not down. Oh no, this could be really ugly for Jim now. He needs him down. He's got him right. Last scatter. Here we go. I think he needs to follow to let the other long beard through as well. We'll see yeah, where that ball good. goes. Oh, right into his own hands. Doesn't catch it. The Slayer's Jeez. hands are just going to pop out the other side. Oh, ho, ho. Jim getting lucky there. What a perfect landing spot oh. for him. His yeah, runner man. can just stand up and grab it and be completely guarded up now. Oh, Jimmy got lucky there. Yeah. Okay, we've got away with one. Yep. And now that but now there's really no scramble. Any other square where that where that catcher or where that runner had to go, and he might have been in a little bit more exposed. But yeah. That's as about as safe as, as it's gonna get for him. Exactly, Star. Exactly. It's just a minor thing, just a very slight. Um, I would have moved him first. I think it was because of the scatter catch, because you knew he was going to scatter it on a blitz. So I'd want the, I would have wanted to throw it out of an adjacent tackle zone to avoid the scatter catch. Um, but that's it. That was my only thought process. On well, on the on, first. on the other hand of it, though, if the ball scatters the other way, you've got two free players now that can react around the ball. Which is probably yeah. what Jim's thinking there. But you're yeah, right. If, that, if the if the strength four catches it, you're gonna have to block him with those two guys. But having those guys free when you know the ball's gonna be bouncing around, pretty pretty vital. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair enough. I think that's a good point as well. Absolutely. Oh, I think my replay froze, or they're just sitting there. Yeah, that was a long sit there for Jim. He was having to think of that if he wanted to move uh, that last is Jim's piece. Stream frozen? Looks like Jim's stream is frozen. It's working at my end. Okay, maybe that's on me then. I'll be right back in. Okay. So that first okay, attempt, go. really good attempt actually. Didn't work out. That was surely their best goal. Um you know, they're down to nine on the pitch against ten dwarves. It's now fully guarded up in a nice cage. There's one open square, but it's guard on both sides, so it'll be red dice. Yeah, if you're asking me now, I think the high elves got to retreat. You know, they're not getting another shot at the ball. They've got to just try and chip some hits and maybe get lucky on a removal. I'd just be hitting, honestly, I'd just be hitting a stand firmer every turn, yeah. which kind of isn't conducive to staying safe. But you yeah. got to take one of them out to have a chance to tie this. It's your only chance at tying this at the half, the way this is already gone. So He does have this chain, though. Nope. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a chain into red, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think he's getting the guard around there. Takes the wrestle. And then retreats. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's just got to get in front of him at this point and, mi and mitigate damage. Yeah. Then takes the wrestle, gets the wrestle. I like it. It was only a one day, wasn't it? Yeah, and then just, uh, yeah, drop back, just try and hem him in, but with so much guard, so many dwarves. Yeah. He's going to be hugely based up here. Rut wisely just leaving the other guy down. Yeah. No point in rolling dice on him. He's not Jim's not gonna foul him. Well, Jim maybe may, actually Jim might foul with that with that death roller because he knows he's losing it. Yeah. Okay, gets the pow on the dodge catcher. Um, just a stun this time. Just fine. But all Jim wants is that ball out of where all the players are down. Holy cage, some nice bit of pressure on the front. Yeah. 
and Death Roller maybe comes up on that guard. I don't think it's time to foul yeah, I mean, Death Roller yet, is it? Put a few more uh, it doesn't. Honestly, I don't think it really matters. Jim's scoring with or without that Death Roller at this point. Mm. But I think the Death Roller, because of the palm, can probably take a couple more elves. Uh, yeah. Well, Jim's not going to blitz with it. So, no. Yeah, that Death Roller is really only ever going to remove someone with a foul at this point. <laughs> I guess if you're basing up with Taco and he tries to dodge away and fails an early one, it might get some free hits, but yeah, it's not that likely. Yeah, yeah I like this. Just the shuffle over to the right. Create yourself a bit of space. He's gonna make him roll dice to get away from the death roller, because again, yeah. there's really no nothing. Nothing that happens to the death roller at this point is really a negative. So even if he based the whole thing up and cast it somehow, yeah. <laughs> dodge and hit it and cast it, it, it wouldn't really matter to Jim. Uh, quite like that stand firm up front as well. I think maybe basing the other guy. Uh, I guess you're basing guard. You're giving a free hit for no reason. That's not ideal. Yeah, Jim's just going to bookend most of those guys on the ground. So the option is just leave him down there to possibly get fouled by the death roller at, at Jim's convenience yeah. or roll di roll bad dice to get him away and risk a, an, an armor roll they wouldn't have normally taken. Yeah. Yeah, so it takes his free hit just to push. I really would like to see uh I know again I know there's a risk in doing it but I really would like to see these uh the blitz going towards stand firm it's the, it's his only avenue into uh into uh leveling this game at halftime now maybe he's fine maybe he's okay with conceding, staying alive, yeah. and then just driving down, driving down in eight turns if he thinks he has the players to yeah. do so uh, in the second half and going to OT. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you do score and you've got a 50 50 shot of the ball on overtime, it's just how many players you've got at that stage. Well, in theory, Jim should only get one hit a turn at this point from this point on. Yeah. But as we saw in the first turn, that's really all he needs to yeah. take anyone down. Especially if he can get his hands on a nice armor seven catcher, which you know are exposed. There's one. There's one right there. The plus move. Yeah, that plus move catcher could actually get death roller palmed well, next I mean, turn if he if if he wanted to. Could even wrestle it down and foul it if uh, if he doesn't get the pow. I wouldn't hit that. Could go for the guard. Looks like he well. might just hit this. He might just hit this Roger on the right and just move up into that space. Just yeah. play it super safe. No, he's not going to go forward. He's just going to... Oh, he's going one square forward. Yeah. That's all he needs. <laughs> yeah. He's got plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to Yeah, I think... Oh, no, he's... Uh, interesting. That's an interesting blitz. I mean, that's the guy I would have blitzed. Oh, he's got tackle. That's why. Yeah, fair enough. Hits him with the tackle, mighty blow. So not a great foul. Can't get an assist round. Yeah. Well, there's three stand firm. Jim has three stand firm, not including the death roller. So he's got to take one out to have any chance at all. But, he, yeah, you're absolutely right. Even with one out, it's pretty tough. 
But he doesn't, yeah. you know, he's got a movement nine. So he only needs he only needs two pushes. That's very, very reasonable. It is. Even without sidestep, it's um it's very doable. Although Jim will set up, you know, fully to uh, to protect it. If that But at this point at this point I think his odds I think his odds of uh Yes, again, assuming he could get a, a stand firmer out, I think his odds of getting that one turn successfully are higher than getting the ball out of the hands of the dwarves right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and without getting his team killed, you know. No, no jugs on the elves. Yeah, so he's left one dwarf behind that will um, probably won't play a huge amount more in the drive. Hey Jim, combien il faut de halfling pour faire un bon amour? But again, the most reasonable thing that Slanesh is looking at is preserving for the second half, eight turns scoring, and then winning the winning the toss in OT. So yeah. that's got to be his prime directive here, rather than worrying about. Removing removing a stand firmer to have a prayer or jarring this ball loose that he's just not going to jar loose without an absolute miracle. The one thing he's got going for him, the runner Moradam does not have dodge, so you know there's that. <laughs> you know it's a five a five or a six, and he can get that ball free. Oh, and he's got wrestlers, so yeah, you know fifty percent yeah, chance so to get the ball. Plus, free. if he did if he did ever get the chance, but Jim. You know, his positioning play is, is excellent, so that guard will always be on the corners, I would imagine, unless something goes horribly wrong. Okay, so just a push, so not a knockdown means he probably can get himself back involved in the drive quite nicely, in some description. Come back around the other side and base up that elf. Hello, Marty Kishtar. Yes, it is Jimmy Fantastic versus Slanesh. First round of the CCL playoffs. Roller dwarves versus a bunch of high elves. Dwarves yeah. got a couple, a uh, couple of good cas early on. One of them got apoed, so the apo is gone right now. And uh, dwarves are kind of cruising to a one zero in the first half. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty vanilla high elf team without an edge. It doesn't really have the weapons that you might expect. Okay, so he is blitzing that. Puts him backwards, trying to take him out of the drive. Yeah, just hoping for anything right there. Yeah. But now here you go. He does have that double bl He's got the double basing on the stand firm there. Uh, Jim, you know, Jim doesn't want to split his team in half to try and save that. So it'll be interesting to see how he handles it. Triple base now. Yeah. Well, Here's the hit. Here's the block. Gets him, here we Gets go. him down. He might foul here. This might be a foul. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, I was just thinking that last turn. I thought if he gets him down. Yeah, nothing. And they just give Yeah, up. so you can see Slanesh thinking the same way. He's got to take one. He's got to take one of these guys off the pitch to have a chance. Yeah. And I bet that's all he's going to do for the rest of this drive at this point. We'll see if Jim, what, how much Jim commits to protecting against that. I think Jim can sort of swing round and, and attack the, the the back of that that pack and maybe try and protect him that way rather than slamming the side. <laughs> J five. Oh, thanks, Marty. Yeah, that was a that was a rough you know that was a rough foul for plus three there. I mean, it is a dwarf, you know. Fouling dwarves is always kind of rough. Yeah. But I'm really curious to see what Jim does here because he's got. So much open space to guarantee a score, which is already pretty much guaranteed. Yeah. But he does he also does he doesn't want to lose those stand firmers. Yeah, now we, we are definitely in uh death roller foul territory now. So uh should be should be a, a colorful uh conclusion to this half. Very much so. Yeah, so I think he does attack this. Get some guys around the back, get Get some guys through and blitz the um, plus movement again. Let's 
See if Jim has forgotten about sizzling bacon back in his uh, deep in his own territory there. I think it's better for the ball progression and keeping the team together to get rid of that Roger rather than blitzing the uh, the plus movement. But yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing. I, and he can blitz him into yeah. follow up blocks. No, no, he's just going to move him. I mean, you wrestled down. <laughs> yeah. Well, that might be that might be your death roller foul for the uh, for the half guys. Could we be. all know this is going to be a gym foul, so get ready with the red cards. But <laughs> so the ball goes through. Get on the other side of the L's. That's always always good. Then you're fighting them on your terms instead of theirs. Yeah, yeah here we go. Oh, he doesn't swing Jim, over. Jim a little bit outpaced his uh, he a little bit outpaced his cage yeah, there. <laughs> I guess no one can really get around. Well, uh, that catcher ball. could get around in one the day. Death roll? What's death roll? Movement four, yeah. Yeah, that catcher can certainly get around, can't it? Yeah, he's got to at least put one one of one of those two, and it's not going to be that guy who just moved. At least next to the yeah, runner, okay. just, just to have the guard next off. to him. Yeah, close off the eye of. Oh move. yeah, yeah, that works too. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And maybe put the death roller right in the middle of the two, oh. so he can't split. Oh three. yeah, he's being safe, being super safe. That's a little unfortunate because that might cancel much hope of a death roller foul before this half is over. Yeah, it might do. Yeah, he did forget. Oh no, he stood his dwarf up. He moved them. Yeah. Yeah, and here we go. <laughs> Jim can get another hit here. could actually hit in and chain the other guard away to get another big gang foul in or just hit him away if he gets him down yeah splitting the team that's why I like the death roller right in that gap didn't like this that he could split the team. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, there is still, you know, three turns to go here. Jim certainly cannot score early. Yeah. Um, it's still going to be really hard for the elves to crack that cage in any way that that matters. Looks like we're not going to get another foul on the stand firm. The risk is when you get swarmed, isn't it? And if you, you know, one or two don't go down, or somebody stays based, you feel like you have to score. Certainly. <laughs> yeah, totally agree. I just want. I think once he put those two guys in the top there, that death roller, that guard just didn't need to be next to the dwarf. He was not coming around the top. So, needs to get his team back together. And I think he can do it, actually. He just has to blitz through that Oops. Roger. Certainly not going to reroll that. Oh, oh that's Ouch. pretty harsh. Glorious. Pretty harsh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty yeah, harsh. Yeah, it was. Oh, I won't re-roll. I'll be good. I'll keep my yeah. last, you know, and then it's six, five, six, six. Yeah. yeah, I think if there was one more turn off, I think if there was one more turn off there, he would have re-rolled yeah. that. But uh, no, he was right not to, but he was just punished for yeah, it. Yeah, brutally punished in everywhere. <laughs> Jim, Jim's not wearing headphones, Ducky. He's <laughs> just hitting his mute button. <laughs> Oh, I really wanted that Roger down so he could get his team back together. Hey. 
I might have followed there and blitzed. Um... Oh, yeah, you can now blitz with the Slayer, Carney. And Jim doesn't even have to move anymore unless he gets pressured in any way. He's in, he's in scoring range. He's got uh, all the guard he needs yeah. anywhere uh, for Cage. He is split off from half his team, but it's probably it's just not going to matter because the elves just don't have any sort of impact player to really shake things up. You know, they had one mighty blow. Maybe he's uh, Jim's a little bit more worried about taking some hits. But... Yeah, this reconnects most of the team here. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't go for the roger. Okay. It's all about the same, though. He can come right back. Oh, no, he's going to pile on. Yeah. yeah. Always pile on. Yeah, Apple gone. Strength for. You've got to pile that on. You know, it's only one more turn of stall. It's going to be a crying shame if uh, Jim doesn't get a hit or a foul with this death yeah. one. He hit once, huh? Yeah, really will be. Oh, here come the Jim uh, Jim Powers. You keep your suggestions to yourself, J5. So he's just got three guys that he can get through now to put up any sort of screen. Yeah, he runs away. Fair enough. He wasn't. He wasn't stopping that, was he? This is maximizing his hits here. Yeah. Down goes a guard. That's fine. Gets a hit on. Um, God mighty, and he'll get a hit on the stand firm, which is the one he really wants to chip. Oh, don't you worry, Foxomania. We have some JFW action. Lined up for you at 10 p.m. UTC. We have Monday Night Claw. Going to be a hell of a show. Don't know if Jim posted the card yet or not. Let me see. So we could see a foul. No, no card posted by Jim. I'll tease it after the show, though. Yeah, so or he's got enough three dwarves to... To still be able to cage without the roller yep. now. Because that free dwarf at the top can come over and be one corner. He's got another beard down the bottom that can come and be another. So if he can get someone down, that roller can now foul. And that's exactly what Jim's doing. Yeah. Okay, who's it going to be? Where's the Blitz? Uh, the Blitz might actually have to be from the Roller. Mm. I don't think he's going to get a Do foul. Do mighty blow Blitz, I can see. He can Blitz there with the Tackle, with the Guard on that Roger, and then foul him. The so Roger dead center. For a plus two. Oh, no, he's going... Yeah, he's just doing the blitz on the move. Yeah. Okay. Oh, foul. That time. <laughs> Doesn't get him. Instant pro reroll. Hasn't. Is that the first reroll Jim's used? No, he dub skull. Yeah, the first time. Yeah. Didn't get. Well, him. and there, ladies and gentlemen, there is your death roller for the day. <laughs> yeah. He put one elf down on the first turn and hasn't done anything since. He could. Uh... He could, you know, snake eyes, tackle this uh, catcher down into death again. That could be its last thing. The elf did have wrestle, you're right. But, he, you know, Jim, it's his last action. He's got the spare reroll. He wants to... You know, roll the pow. He didn't care about the turnover. But yeah, he's just fishing. For Again, if I'm the high elves, 
if I'm the high elves, I want my parting shot to be on a stand firm. He disagrees. Hitting the armor eight. You can understand yeah. that. Easier to get off. But he is not able to get that hairy dwarf off Flicky, unfortunately. Yeah, has he got a shot on the... Um, yeah, he's got a couple of free hits up here on the uh, on the stand firm. Does, why is there, does he have Juggernaut and I'm just not seeing it anywhere on the pitch? No, he does not have Juggernaut. I've oh, you're talking about the roller. Are you guys talking about the roller? You guys are talking about the roller. I thought you were talking about someone on the high elf team. And I'm like, have I missed the fact that there's been Juggernaut on the pitch for the high elves the entire half? Oh, wait, like, so hit, the hit roller the has jugs but not block. You can still take the both down for an armor roll. Is that right? Right. Now I'm with you. I thought maybe you had to have block. Yeah, if you opt not time, to use no, of course not. You just have to cancel Reto. Oh, he does get a removal. Oh, and there's a KO. Not, he does get a KO. A stand firm. Well. He's still got a chance. No. No. Oh, the one in 81. No, not dead. So Jim will try for a 3D. Somewhere. You imagine he would. It, he might just run it in. No, he is going to go down there. Yeah, he's going to go down there and take his free hit there. Yeah. Oh, he's taking two Ds. Wow. Well, he's got the rerolls. Yeah, enough. it's, you know, one in 12, nine, six. Just because he rolled them twice on that day that he had to play again doesn't, doesn't put off Jim. He still makes them. Yeah, so it is a turnover, but it's still an armor roll, which is what Jim wanted. So, yeah, he probably should have taken that. He should have taken the boat down, chose not to use um, jugs and got an armor roll. And then probably died himself. All of that is moot. No, not if he's got jugs. Cancel wrestle. Oh, right. That was the whole entire point of the conversation. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> You're right. It's exactly what you guys were talking about the entire time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was reading it too, and I was like, you, you idiots. He has Russell. Oh, wait. No. I am the idiot. All right. We're good to go here. There goes the death roller. Here comes... Uh, here comes three stand firm. Nothing the elves yep. can do about that except roll a riot. Jim is going to just probably yeah, set up against the riot here. Yeah, riot is a thing. It could happen. I don't know what it is on the uh, kickoff table, so I don't know what the odds are. So now you gotta you gotta be asking yourself why Slanesh opted not to buy that twelfth man, because the twelfth man right now means he you know like <laughs> this exact situation he's got to go he's got to do an eight turn drive, or maybe like a six turn drive in the second half to have a chance to make overtime, the but 12th, he's going to have to do it with nine elves as opposed to ten. The twelfth man would have given Jim a bribe, though. That's the only thing I can think of. Mm. But, like, that bribe would be eaten up right now, you know? Like, yeah, the, the death roller would be... Oh, wait, no, I guess he could have left them off. Yeah, he could have left them off. So. Oh, he yeah, been yeah, he would have made, yeah, he would have had the death roller the whole game. Or That's he could have been doing That's a lot more fouling with that roller. Yeah. And potentially, you know, re removing another couple of L's before he got caught or, or what have you. Yeah. And I guess trying to score with nine L's is something. So we're he's not going to be able to eight turn against Jim, though. So we're probably looking at his best case scenario is having to score on turn five or six. That seems likely. Yeah. Let's see if he gets his riot here, though. That could make things interesting. See if we get the wish of everybody in uh, in Discord and see a DACA incoming for the elf drive. So no riot. Nope. Does get a touchback, but that's irrelevant too. 
All right, so he's just gonna have to hope here. That right, sorry, that. sorry if these guys are talking, but what an absolute <laughs> fucking joke that the one time I use fucking kick in my entire, I you know I finally <laughs> fucking take kick on the team. I don't even put it in the corner. I put it one away so it can't possibly scatter out. So of course it's fucking changing weather and it double bounces and goes out anyway. What a fucking yeah. joke. <laughs> Uh, it looks like head coach Jimmy Fantastic upset about uh, the efforts of his kicker. I wouldn't be the same with the occasional aside from uh, from Jim, would it? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. more skulls. Yeah, relatively meaningless there, but he did end his last turn on a one in eighty one. Yeah. So, if the salt is flowing, it's flowing a little bit harder right now. Yeah. And now he won't want to make a blitz, just in case they're coming back. Yeah, there's no, there's no risk of a score there, Noam. It's just a. I think he's just musing at how pointless that. Yeah. That Lace is out. Was. The actual match situation doesn't always matter when it comes to rolling double spells. Ooh, now Constantine the Great, the thrower, just got that glory SPP. He's a touchdown away from leveling. Could that come into play for round two? Pro pro probably not, guys. <laughs> Who knows? You never, ever know. <laughs> Laces out. Thank you for the cheer, Foxamania. We have seen many a game that looked absolutely done and dusted, and then somehow it turned around. You know, because if Jim's only getting the one the one blitz again, it, it's not unreasonable that we still have nine elves by the end of next half, eight or nine elves. But yeah, we never know. Well, I'm not sure what he's doing here since everything's over. Oh, no, he's still got it. Uh, he's thinking about who to blitz. Oh, and it pays off. HK down and out. That's a rookie oh, yeah, blitz. Oh, That's and a mid next game. Up. MNG. Still, if you're going to take the MNG, now is the time instead of the second half. Because he can get instantly replaced. Uh, so maybe maybe that was a pretty strategic blitz by Slanesh there. Hitting the rookie knows that he's not going to draw the apo from Jim uh, if yeah. he gets lucky, and he did get lucky. So there might have been a little bit of thought behind that blitz uh, that really paid off. And uh, if that's the case, kudos to Slanesh. Pretty good decision-making there. Well, the issue is that it just gets replaced, though, by, you know, if you take out a guard, then it's one guard less. But if you take out a rookie, another rookie comes on. So I'm not... It doesn't pull the apple, you're right, but I'm not sure what it really gains overall. But like early in the half, I quite like that. I'm not sure. Because like it does, probably doesn't draw the apple for a for a KO. Not sure on that one. <laughs> you had more. May, may, maybe you had. <laughs> Which one's Zinch? I get them all confused. Z Zinch is the uh, the changer of ways, uh, or whatever. Is the big bird, the bird one, the magic one, the broke. Generally, Zinch armies are broken. Slanesh armies are pointless and usually just played by, you know, angsty teenagers that want to see boobs. <laughs> All right, Jim. Try again with your kick. Okay, this time it is... I would have just died. I would have died if that had been a touchback. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This time it, uh, the high elves with the extra reroll. That's very nice with, over time, a strong... <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. Well, yes. <laughs> gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's a dicing. Oh, dear. Oh, right. He's got no one deep either. It's like they're both on defense. 
Uh, that is a very good point. Oh, God. Why is that? Why are they both on defense? Oh, well, he, oh, he was going to dock us, so he was going to drop back anyway. Yeah. And that catcher, I assume that that move catcher can hit any point on the field. He can. So, yeah, he was just going to drop back. He was yeah. he was protecting against the blitz, and then he was just going to drop back. Well, this is exactly but it's what's weird happened. that he didn't drop back first, and he threw that block. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what's happened every time I've tried to deck her so far with what else. Every single time. Things gone horribly wrong on the OS. I think that was Jim, not me, J5, but I might have made a squeal too. I don't know. Well, what I heard from you was the um, the poshest way I've ever heard the word DACA being said. It's going to DACA. DACA? DACA? Did I say DACA? Like, yeah. DACA. DACA, DACA, DACA. <laughs> well, so actually, that, to be fair, though, the, you know where the word comes from, yeah. right? Matt DACA? No, yeah. no. Well, mate, well, that's where the strategy comes from. But DACA, DACA is the sound that orc bolters make, or or maybe it's actually space marine bolters make. They go DACA, 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 DACA. So it's supposed to be a machine gun sound. That's where the word DACA comes from. So I'm assuming Matt Matt DACA took da the word DACA and uh, to make his uh, his last name, unless his last name is actually DACA. I don't that I don't know. Okay. But yeah. Well, there you go. PC Thanks knows what. PC knows what's up. But yeah, so I guess Daka Daka. It doesn't really matter. It's supposed to just be a machine gun sound. So PC, is that why every Daka I try fails horribly on the first turn because I shouldn't be doing them? Yeah, some people know. What's up. Original G's knows know what's up there. Oh, yeah, it's an old 40k thing. There's one of the uh, one of the premier 40k blogs back in. I'm sure it's still around. Uh, that did like GW news and updates and stuff. Was called Daka Daka. Mm. Or Daka Daka. Uh, the Daka technique, Gnome Toe, is what everyone talks about where all these elves would have dropped way back, recovered the ball on their offense, and sat back there waiting for the dwarves to push forward and then shoot by them and score. And that was, a that was a, I believe, um, a guy named Matt, Matt Daka on, uh, on Fumble or whatever uh, coined that term or, or used that technique, and that term was coined around his uh, play style. So he's still doing it here. Oh, thanks, PC. Yeah, appreciate it. I think you're entirely correct as well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the fumble end of it, Calcium. That's just what I've always been told. But the word DACA or DACA or whatever you want to say uh, originally comes from uh, the uh, description of the sounds of Space Marine bolters. Okay, so here we go. The belated Daka. Yeah. I don't think this is uh, gonna. I mean, again, I don't want to, you know, I mean, what else is he supposed to fucking do? But uh, this is not a great team to try this strategy against. Jim's not gonna over pursue. Oof, rolls the one oh. there. Doesn't need to re roll it, but a little, he's probably a little sad he's got an extra elf hit here. Yeah. Um, you know, Jim's not going to over pursue on this one. So, <laughs> and he's got stand firm. It's weird. And he's got stand firm on his corners. Yeah. So, <laughs> he's not going to blow by him uh, when he needs to. A few one and nines here for Jim, but nothing worse than that. Nothing like we've seen from Slanesh. All right, I shall be back Whoa. in one moment. I'll leave it in your capable hands for now. No problem. All right. Well, Jim's setting up his 3D block here, or 3D blitz. He's not a. Oh yeah, I guess he doesn't have any other any other real plays here. 3D into 3D does not get him down. Got to be a little sad about that. Now, interestingly. 
it's a long, it's too long to go. Maybe if these were wood elves, I was going to say, there's a little bit of a hole there now, right in the middle of the field. But he doesn't have a way through that he can defend. Could he have reached the Surfram? I didn't even count. Yeah, Jim really has no other job than to just stay roughly where he is, but spread out across the field, end capping with those stand firms. So, uh, <laughs> so the elves have to go through the majority of his team. Yeah, absolutely, calcium. Okay, I'm assuming I haven't missed anything in exciting or important. Well, double three Ds on that uh, on that guard on the guard cat or on the uh, guard blitzer there uh, did not get him down. Right, which is going to get his runner hit here, rookie runner just pushed though. So that just helps free up. Uh, assuming he can make a two plus here, just helps free him up. And now his catcher is going to get hit. Yeah, that's the only problem. Once you bring one forward, that's the you know an easy blitz target. Oh my gosh, another one on the pickup right on the sideline has oh. to reroll that. Got to re-roll that one on the sideline. Well, yeah, he did. He did have yeah, to re-roll it. I mean, at this point, I would have just... At this point, you might even consider just not re-rolling it and being like, you know what? I'm either going to get extremely lucky on this throw-in or I'm going to lose, but I'm already losing, so... Uh, there's so many throw-ins that are just an instant loss, though, the way the teams are, are set up here. Um, Klepper, the idea behind it, uh, sorry, Klep, Kleppen, the idea behind it is that a, a lot of coaches would just move their team too far forward. And then the elves, all they have to do is pop one hole to get around behind them. And then there's nothing in between them and scoring. And they're going to win a leg race against most teams. The problem is Jim's got a lot of stand firm, so he can space it out. So it's hard to punch a hole. And also Jim, is a, a very experienced coach who isn't just going to run forward trying to win 2-0 two, two when 1-0 will win him the game just as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, no, I know I know calcium. You have to you have to reroll it. But honestly, there's a there's a point where you're like, I quadded. I quadded to start this half. I've already yeah. lost this game. I I might as well just not reroll this pray for a miracle throw in and keep my reroll but like i also would end up rerolling that see what's happening here um what's happening here clep uh clepine is exactly what the doc is supposed to do the problem is it's you want the ball going to the guys you want he needs like one more elf there and the ball already in their hands to move past because jim can kind of shut this down pretty effectively yeah you you'd think so he just needs to um just maintain his screen, doesn't he? You know, he's got enough dwarves to cover the, the width of the pitch. Yeah, and as Mongu says, this is absolutely a better strategy when you're already winning one nothing, and they have to come to you to get the ball. Still no power on that blitz, huh? Nope. He's nice and tucked in there, though. On tackle. <laughs> J5. <laughs> so now this is where it can get a little bit scary for jim you know he's got to be a little bit careful about how he makes his decisions here because if he goes there's a lot of elves over on the left but there's just enough elves on the right to sideline cage you know see which again not a great that's not a great position to be in but all he has all he has to do is have one turn where he can just push past and he's probably going to get through to score on turn like 14. So Jim's got to be just a little bit careful how he does things here. And you can see that's exactly what he's doing. He doesn't need to shore up the stand firm guys, but he no. does need to shore up the middle just fine. And there's really not many weak points here without some massive dice. Yeah, there's just not a lot of support if he was to go right. So it's, it's perfectly fine to leave the right slightly more open if one side has to be. Yeah, and this... This is exactly what you're seeing, again, as Mongoose pointed out. Jim doesn't have to pursue here. 
So he can just, he has the luxury of doing this and Slanesh really doesn't have anything he can do to thwart it, you know, except maybe get a lucky Kaz. Interesting follow. Yeah. But now maybe, the, so I think it looks like Slanesh is thinking he's got to move up because the dwarves are slow, so half of those dwarves are out of the play next turn. So next turn he can push into scoring range, you know, and have one turn to maybe stretch out and score. So this is probably his only chance here. Yeah, and the only person he can get in behind the stand firm is a non-tackle piece, so that could be key. Because Jim effectively, uh, Jim effectively has one, two, oh, three, four, exactly. five dwarves. Yeah, Jim only has five dwarves that can actually stop on the right sideline right now. Oh, plus three plus. That's not great. And two of them are and two of them are based. Huge four plus three plus with no, yeah, no dodge. Yeah, this uh, this might work out for for Slanesh here. You know, we want to get ahead of ourselves here. Yeah, that's one of those one of those players is a runner, so he can get he's got some good movement. But you know, twice hopped there, dead center on Jim's side. Uh, cannot cover like he without geifying, and Jim's not gonna want to geify unless he has to. He yeah. can't cover that sideline, so that's a lot of dwarves that are out of the play. I think he'll quite like the uh, the strength guy down this turn um, and limit his involvement. He's not covering that sideline very much, is he? Oh, that's a nice chain, though. Uh, he didn't get the yeah. knockdown. Well, I thought he was going to chain the runner over. Mm. But maybe because he didn't get the knockdown, he's not doing it. He gets a follow-up lock on him, though, which is nice. And that stand firm there is still a stand firm, so it's not a, it's not a given to get past Oh, him. and that's a nice stun, too, on the strength. But, hey, know, Ancy, uh, game's going pretty well for Jim. Elves are kind of on a last gasp here to try and send this to overtime. But it seems pretty unlikely. So maybe, I mean, if he goes with the wrestle... Gets, it's more chance of getting him down, but you know it's important. Note here: there's no there's no tackle on uh, on the blitzer that's in Jim's half of the field. The elves are going to try and cut back again. Just trying to push, just trying to pull him out of position. Just switching side. I don't know. That, I'm not saying that this. I'm not saying this is the right play, but I might have tried to go through that stand firm of this turn. Yeah, that. That would have been my first instinct. I just don't think he's going to get a better chance with the dwarves that far on one side. Well, they are quite far on that side now. Maybe, maybe there's something that can happen here. Oh, just the push on the stand firm there. That's nice for Jim. Yeah, stunning, stunning that thrower. The strength four thrower was pretty nice. And there's another elf on the floor. Another dwarf. And now this uh, this ball isn't safe now. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, he's uh he's uh, he's in serious trouble here. Yeah. Oh, big big trouble. I, curious he didn't. Oh, 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 oh. I was just about to say curious he didn't try and dodge away with that blitzer, but he ate a reroll for him. Yeah. Ah, uh, but he does go down. He does go down, and he's about to get bombed. Any bombs here? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Nada. Okay, so how do you get through to the ball? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, I think I think hindsight being what it was, I think he should have tried to go through that stand firm. At the end of the day, even if he couldn't knock him down, it's just some it's three plus three plus two plus to get past. That's better odds than whatever's about to happen here. Although again, Jim, you know, Jim has to worry about the catcher on the left, Nero. Yeah. Um, and there's not a lot of ways to do that right now. There's some here. He, here's one. He's freed up one yeah. dwarf. Go over and base him. 
Yeah, but maybe he... is it a GFI hit? I believe one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, you can hit with the runner. No tackle, but just, so you can hit with just yeah. have block. But a fifty-five percent sack here from the runner. And uh, he, Jim does need this to work. Slanesh has two catchers that are not impossible to get free. Yeah. And uh, you put the ball in the hands of one of those guys, they could they could go down and score. Oh, but he does. Gets the knockdown. Let's see what happens with the ball. Scatters away. That's uh, not great for Jim. He's got some GFIs in front of him. No reroll. Just, oh, doesn't get the pick up. But makes the were, makes the GFIs no pick up there. That's probably the best way around, isn't it? You know, you you're on your feet, you're in a tackle zone. That's definitely the best way around. All right, and now what we're gonna see from Slanesh is some a lot of threes, I think, to try and get this ball anywhere away from these dwarves. Uh, there's nothing but threes in front of him to do it. Yeah, and, and he's got he's got to reroll everything at this point because yeah. the game is over after this turn. Yeah, there's a lot of two plus dodges without uh, without the dodge re-roll. In fact, all of them are without the dodge re-roll. So much tackle. Thanks the first one. Yep. Going with the wrestler. Good good call there. Pays off. Well, I didn't need the wrestle, but it's still. Yeah. Ball is uh, <laughs> ball is covered or uncovered now for the elf to grab. So what's he gonna try and do? Is he gonna try and maybe catch it? In the tackle zone over on the left there, and then just go. Yeah. He can't get away. But it is a blodger, yeah. and he, he might be able to get away from tackle. Especially yeah. if he's willing to make some three pluses in the face of tackle. Yeah, I think he can get away from tackle. Or he could, you know, you. Oh, actually, no, I think that move, the move nine. The move nine can get almost completely clear, but he's got to catch it in two tackle zones. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe maybe I'm just too impatient. Yeah. But I do not. I, I don't know what I feel about this, right? Now. Yeah, I mean, turn 14, I feel like I try to make my break turn now. 15 next, so he needs a scoring threat next turn. Yeah. Yep. He needs to get that plus move. I mean, it's easy enough for him to get scoring threats, but still. Oh, needs that plus move out. It's a three. Wow. He doesn't dodge the three. Wow. Like Jim can just put his all of his team. That's Jim can put his entire team on the ground that could score <laughs> practically. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I don't. I didn't like that. Yeah, there's. That's what happens. Tackle hit. Yeah, mighty blow on the seven. No, survives. Yeah, gets him once that strength guy controls. Mighty blow. No. Mighty blow not firing this turn so far. He really, really, that was his turn to make his break. I, 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 I'm going to swear by that one. Yeah, I think you have to take a chance there. As like you say, everyone's going on the ground now. You can play a past the elf here. One hit into another into another. <laughs> Kill. Hello, Dimmy. Hey, Dimmy. Jim, moments away from sealing his uh, round one win here. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Double skulls there. He Could have made things slightly exciting. Doesn't get him down either. Does have follow up hits, but now they're risky. Hasn't blitzed yet. So, of the elves that are currently on their feet, you've got the one blitzer who's kind of surrounded who can get into a pretty good scoring position. Other than that, it's not it's not looking great. The catcher that's on his feet, Nero, can move down and have a double GFI. 
Yeah. To score. Yeah. Uh, the move. Um, the move nine can still. It's the same position for him. Almost Jesus. It's almost if he could go straight yeah. forward, but that's yeah. looking tough to go straight forward, isn't it? So Jim, yeah, last turn. Wants to throw this block now, whether he wants to make a safe move before he does it. I'd suggest moving the guard. I don't know where that runner's going. Maybe the runner maybe tries to tie up the plus strength and just create a bit of a screen over that side. Because that's your job now, is to just keep them contained. Yeah, I like this move from Jim. Uh, oh, no, okay, he's the he's the one he's worried about. That's fair enough. This guard hell elf has been incredibly hard to get down, considering the tackle. Got him. There it is. Oh, he got him. Break. Okay. All right. So there's um, uh, no path. <laughs> there's no magic. real path now to a to a draw in regular time without several GFIs. Yeah. For the elves. I mean, that's what they have to do. Ooh, Jim. Risky, but okay, fair enough. Four plus. Don't hit it. All right, so that's what the elves have to do is double GFI, get into range, prayer. Oh, but the, yeah. So much of Jim's team can just collapse on the. Well, kind of. <clears throat> All right, his next move has to put someone in scoring range now. Yeah. I think it's that sidestep catcher, the, uh, the tackle catcher. Or his next, his next dice. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that that sidestep tackle just has to to get out there with minimal. I mean, he'll get a bit of cover for him. You know, he's got the rod. Oh no, the rod stood up, so he's got yeah, really minimal cover. He's got two total GFIs to roll. So he's got to make one right now for sure. And if he fails, no, he doesn't. He makes them both. Well, stacks them. Makes them both. And then two more GFIs next turn. Yep. No, just one, I think, right? Two. No, movement here. It's two, I think. Oh, no, no, no. It's two. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, you're right. And then the thrower cannot score. There are GFI hits for Jim. Ending where he puts his last piece. The ball saved. You just have to, uh, yeah, make the GFIs and hit this. Catcher, it's not easy though, because if he rolls an early one, he can't back out, and that's his last yeah. re-roll. Can he get can he free tackle here? Well he's got yeah. the tackle. He uh, Yeah, he can 2D with tack. He can 2D with tackle. But Jim's got his own GFI to roll to do so. Oop, no, there's a fail. Uh, Right, well, now he can just yeah, he's roll. <laughs> yeah, he's got to re-roll. He's got to re-roll everything he does. That's a much better place for him there. So, basically, this runner this runner can make things miserable by just three-plussing. Yeah. Ooh. No, he doesn't get the free. He can still get the stand firm there. He might just one dice. Oh, the style. stand firm guy was free. Yeah, yeah he freed him up too easy from that. One oh. He's got him. 
Oh, yeah. Ooh, got him. Got him. him in the crowd, but that's good enough. Where's the ball? Oh, the ball, ball stays in L frame. Shit. But we're a three plus, uh, three plus, and then a one and nine from picking that ball up. Yeah. I'm not sure if he re rolls it though. There's much in the way. Of double time. GFI with the troll slayer to try and lock him on the yeah, sideline. I quite like that. Amy hey, I mean, has to. He can't leave him. He can't leave him on the fence. No. Oof, another break. Yeah. That's a that's a good blitzing option gone, but it's still not over. He still hasn't secured it yet. I like this double GFI. I also like the dodge pickup. He's got a, I mean, yeah, he's got a dodge pickup, and he's got, and he's re-rolling it at this point. Yeah, absolutely, calcium, one hundred percent. At least I think he's, re I think he's re-rolling it. Pretty much maybe he's not. Scat. If he fails the dodge, I don't think he's. Yeah, maybe he's not re-rolling. He's not. I don't think he's re-rolling those GFIs. Yeah, he might re-roll the dodge because if he can get in behind, like in on the sideline with a stand firm guard in front of him. Oh, fails the dodge. Does he re-roll this dodge? He does, because this yeah, kind of locks things up if he gets it, and he does he get it. it. Right, took yourself in. Now, go for the side. I'd go for the sideline here. Yeah, I think Jim's Jim's right now though. Jim's got to think about it. Do I risk uh, failing GFIs on my armor eight, knowing I'm probably going to next, <laughs> going to, going to next next round? Uh, not yeah, GFI, that, was his, that was his last movement onto the sideline. Oh, you mean on the Slayer? Yeah. He makes them, though. I think this is... Uh, I think he's done it. Yeah, I mean, all he's got is the 1D wrestle. No, not sorry, not a 1D. Red. It's a red yeah. wrestle. All the GFIs. Um, he can set up a serve, but it leaves nobody for recovery. No, he'd have one to recover if he serves. He'd have to recover. But it's not very good. No, he's just gonna want he's just gonna want his dodge. He's just gonna want his yeah. dodge. Ooh, he's oh, he's got, him. got him. Jesus. He's got him. No rerolls for the rest of yeah, this. He's gotta choose the wrestle. But he does get him down. Choose the wrestle, Jim. That's a better scatter position. Oh no. Oh, that is doable. Oh, that is very doable. Shit. It's not easy, but oh, it is and doable. The dwarf need uh, the um, the throw the catcher needs max movement as well, so he's got to go through those tackle zones. Yeah, there's going to be a shitload of threes for uh, yeah. for Jim to lose this. But we saw him lose on a six plus uh, chorf pass once, so you know, or just gonna yeah. be, uh, a bull bull centaur pass once. He's looking at two, two, four. Intercept three 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 two two. I think. All right, let's see. Ball in hand. He's thinking about whether he wants to try some. Yeah, he's just gonna throw it right through. Intercept would be pretty nice to put this one to bed. Glorious. Pass is good. The catch not victorious. G G. I will defend. Wow. Thanks for two years of glorious entertainment, well Jim G, Jim G, Jim G, Fucking Jimmy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, boys and girls, Jimmy, fantastic. The winning coach, CCL round one. How you doing? <laughs> all right. Thanks. Uh, all the uh, the congratulations and the celebrations coming through for the beloved Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Love by all. Mm -hmm. Me. Nice what one, a game! Jim what a game that felt guys. completely in Enjoyed hand the it. entire time, but still had us all grinding yeah. our teeth until that very last one yeah. nine at the very Fucking end. Hells, man. The His dice were horrendous as well. <laughs> the amount of double skulls, quads, even—it was ridiculous. Yep. And then yeah. there's still I a fucking that. chance because they just weren't as bad as his. Yeah, true. True. It was a similar game, actually. Glorious. I watched Calcium play yesterday. Mm. Um, similar. 
Good old Kelsey. And and thank you, everybody. Get the, in, get the subs in. Get the <laughs> follows in. Get that trainer going. Gonna, gonna fucking what's it called? Friend. Oh, that was unsociable of him. He could have, he could have given me another two D, couldn't he? Could have <laughs> let me skill up my Slayer. I was fucking what a, trying. What a, what a bastard! How many, how many three dices did I make with that little fuck trying, trying to get his, trying to get Would his that level not up? have been the best way to lose a Slayer before a round two match? <laughs> yeah, it would have been. <laughs> Maybe he wants to take oh, this team dear. to open ladder, so maybe he's looking after his players. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Oh, look, that's Sizzlin' Bacon on the MVP for the another glorious stand firm. Beautiful. Wonderful. Sizzling Bacon, who got left no, uh, left behind by your entire offensive I'm drive. <laughs> and I will defend. Oh, I will defend. Oh, look at this. Hold the keep. Glorious Gifting a tier one sub. A hype train. Glorious, yeah. thank you very much. Almost level two. Glorious and thank you, uh, thank you for all the bits and all the subs. Thank you, Jay Can Style, Doctor Honey Vasco. That was before, wasn't it? But thank you. <laughs> I think that was before the game started. Black Swan is now um, is now member of Team Fantastic. Oh yeah, glorious. Thank you very much. He did. He cheated me, Mengo. I'm going to report him to the CCL admins <laughs> who despise Monty. <laughs> <laughs> That's all a joke, but look well, at that! I made nine well, out of nine well, hey, GFIs. I've hey, never Jim. been that lucky in my life. Uh, it's dodgy, right? How you feeling? How you feeling? You got past elves. You don't know. You no longer have to think about elves for the rest of your CCL playoffs, <laughs> right? Yeah, next round's against dark elves. They've already won. <laughs> so it's definitely oh, against boy. dark elves. Hey, you got guys level. All right. Well, never mind then. That was stupid. I was trying the whole match to get his level. Oh god, he can get jump up. How exciting. Oh, he's got jump up. <laughs> oh, the excitement. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> he might have to take Nasty tackle just with it being against Dark Elves and then probably Wood Elves because tries on in my brackets. <laughs> so uh, he's probably going to be Right, so yeah, Tri's already won his first match. Yeah, Sindane, that's who the next match is against. Um, yeah, Tri was just in within an hour of the draw. He was like, yeah, fuck it, let's play, let's do this. <laughs> Right, the fallbackers. Where the hell is that? God, I was pretty lucky. He didn't really have an exciting team, did he? And uh, no, and he had less exciting dice. <laughs> Here we go, seventeen hundred. And he's got a bit more money. Oh my God, he's got no players. Five, yeah, six, I mean, that seven, could have been eight, a nine. very different match after that early sack, couldn't it? Yeah, 1820. Yeah, he was pretty lucky, to be fair. He was pretty lucky to do all the dice to get it, and then, uh, and then that like, way. obviously a little bit more lucky. He could have got the ball and uh, and pre had it protected, couldn't he? Which is normally what happens against me. With, yeah. <laughs> with fucking asshole Woody's just leaping in and getting their one day or uphill and then making all the dice rolls to recover it. Uh, maybe I could have been a bit tighter against that, but I just thought it was a lot of dice and, you know... Fuck it. <laughs> the end of the day. Yeah, it's, they're pretty decent, aren't they? So 1840, so we'll be able to get a wizard against them. Oh no, 1820. Bride. So, no, not a fucking bride. <laughs> For the roll. No, it's the worst. It's literally the worst. The roll is garbage. The roll is just playing with a fucking 200 TV disadvantage. <laughs> That's all the fucking roll is doing. Yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to throw good money after bad. <laughs> For the 200 TV disadvantage, still nobody notices the difference. <laughs> Literally, I should probably just sack him. To be fair, I probably should sack the roller, but it's funny, isn't it? It's funny, and that's the important thing. Um, right, so anyway, thank you very much, uh, Flicky Flack and Skurametso. Um Absolutely glorious of you. And uh, thank you, everyone watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.